What's up guys? Welcome to the studio. I'm John the Potter, so good to have you here. So today we have an exciting video. This kiln is completely full of finished pots. Uh, and if you haven't watched my channel before, this is my favorite part of pottery. I love seeing the pieces come out after all that work. You know, it, we started out with a ball of clay, which is basically mud from the ground. And now we're gonna finish with like a piece you can use that's art. So it's really fun and I love bringing you guys along with me. So we are preparing for our next online restock, which is October 17th. So we haven't done a restock online since like August. And so this one is gonna be really interesting. We have lots of stuff uh, already done, but this one is gonna be a unique kiln. This is gonna be lots of blues. There's lots of marbled stuff. There's lots of, uh, this I did a big batch of like blue and black and so there's a bunch of this kind of stuff in there which is going to be fun to see as well as the midnight rain over winter wood combo is one of my favorites. It's like the same if you're on this channel before you've seen me make these insanity mugs. I don't really have any because they've sold out really well in the past over the last few months and the different sales that we've done. So without further ado, let's open this kiln and see what we got inside. Very exciting stuff. Sorry about this little sun ray coming through. Okay, cool. Fixed. All right, so on the top, didn't quite get it totally full. This is a little shallow dish. Anything I've made like this that I've done the in-person sales has sold really well. So I'll have some of this actually online for sale for the first time in a long time. But blue surf on the inside, winter wood on the outside. Love it. Super cool. Uh, then we got some, another, a marble bowl. So I had a video that I put up where I was doing this, where I put the marble coloring on the outside and none on the inside. So blue surf on the inside with a little flux on the out. Uh, and then we have a bunch of these mugs in there. So this is like a metallic midnight rain over winter wood. So we load those crystals on. You can see there's tons of little micro crystals in there. Very cool, turned out really good. A couple another, more bowls. So this again is that marbled with blue surf on the inside and a clear gloss glaze on the outside. So you can see it's shiny. Nice, turns out really good. And then this one has Norse blue on the inside with marbling on the outside. And this is like a slightly different type of marbling that I do. So when I center it first and then put the colored clay on the outside, then you get a little bit different kind of marbling design where it's like, I don't really know how to describe it but it has a little bit of Norse blue on the top. Love it, looks really good. Uh, okay, and then, so this is marbling with red iron oxide instead of like coloring, which I sometimes like to do, and I especially like to do it with this copper ore over sandstone drippy glaze. Love that. So these are tumblers. I've, I have sold a lot of the tumblers recently. I make so many mugs that when I make other stuff, it kind of tends to sell pretty well. So we got a set of four of those. Nice, look at the, how, this just looks like cho drippy chocolate. Really copper on the inside, you probably can't tell. But, very cool, well, it's turned out good. That's a glaze where, you never know, if you layer it a little too thick, it might just drip right off, but that was good. Solid on that one. All right, and then here's more of these metallic midnight rain over winter wood. Love it, love those, those just turned out really nice. That is really amazing. That's so cool, so cool. All right, this is the last one on that shelf, Midnight Rain over Winter Wood, boom. They're per it's perfect, look how it just drips right down to the bottom, but not anything on the bottom. That's really amazing. All right, I'll pull that out first. Ooh, whoa. All right, so, this is Midnight Rain over Winter Wood, although it turned out super dark and matte and black and not exactly what I was going for. Not, not what I'm liking, but this is kind of a new style beer stein that I was doing for a custom order. Uh, so I thought I would just kind of test out a glaze on it or like a different style of glazing, but did not really work. Wow, this is really interesting. I. Just the Midnight Rain over Winter Wood combo is kind of looks a little different than normal. I did thin it out and I, so it must have been because I thinned it out. Hmm, interesting. Okay, here's some more marbled bowls. The Blue Surf, this one's a little bit more of like a, like a two person serving bowl. 
Ooh, nice. So there's one without the clear gloss glaze on the outside and just has some of those drips from that Norse blue. That looks really nice. Just feels different. Some people really don't like the feel of that raw clay, but I don't mind it at all. And I, I actually really think it comes out nice. A little more organic, like less finished, but still really nice. This is, this is just the same glaze. So it's sandstone and then sandstone over sandstone. So it's like a double layer drip or it's a double layer of the same glaze, which, yeah, I like that a lot. One more of these midnight rain over winter wood ones, which a few of these I will fire again, upside down so that they turn into insanity mugs. That's kind of the, something that I really have come to like doing. All right, and then these are just marble tumblers with Norse blue on the inside, Norse blue. Those all, those look really nice with the clear gloss on the outside. It's been a while since I've had a lot of this marble stuff, so it feels, feels good. Tumblers. There are some mugs too in the bottom of this shelf, or in the bottom of the kiln. And then a couple more of these guys, copper ore. So that's what it looks like when it drips all over the shelf. And then these awesome advancer kiln shelves, which are super expensive, but totally worth the investment. Ready? I'm gonna close my eyes while I do this so I don't get glaze in my eyes. There you go, look at that. Scrape right off. Love these things. Save more pots that way. All right, sweet. These are super nice. Marbled mugs, whoo, with blue surf on the inside. And I put little dots of flux to get that like kind of flowing. Those little pieces that kind of flow. God, those turned out really good. Really nice. Yup, yup, yup. Boom. Those are some of my favorite marble pieces I think that I've ever done. Yeah, really cool. Okay, and then the, the other marbled mugs that are in here are raw. They got raw clay with the drips. And again, you know, what do you think? Comment in the comments. Do you like the drip over raw clay better? Or do you like the clear glaze better? It definitely feels different, which you can't really feel it through the camera, obviously. But I think you can tell, like, you know, you can see how shiny this one is. And it's just like, feels glossy. And then this one is not shiny at all. And it has those drips coming down. So that's the difference. What do you think? Clear gloss glaze? No clear gloss glaze. A couple more. Metallic, midnight rain over winter wood. That is really interesting. I'm kind of a little torn about what to think about these. A little torn. It's not, it's different, you know? I need, I need to, I think the glaze needs to get thickened up a little bit. Cause it's just a little too, I mean, there will be people that like this, but I think it's just not enough blue. It's a little too black and, and matte. Bluer and shinier, but, but they're interesting. They're different. They're unique, that's for sure. Ah, all right. Last things in here, we got these three marbled with the Norse blue drip on there. Gorgeous. This turned out so super good. Oh, I love those. Some tumblers with the Norse blue drip and the raw clay. So interesting. Just so much going on in there. Love it. All right, that was, that was a good kiln, my friends. Check it out, that was it. Got the marbled mugs, got the midnight rain, copper ore. So a little bit different, not kind of like the same typical stuff. I'll show you the shelf of the other stuff that we have for sale. And that is kind of why I glazed this kiln the way I did, is because I wanted some different stuff. So, you know, you can see in this we have a lot of this like Norse blue and pink. Raspberry mist is kind of the glaze actually, but that has been really popular glaze combo. Uh, got some cozy cups, mug warmers, got some bowls, planters, vases. I was really, you know, into this glaze, trying to get that glaze to work out well. So anyway, I glazed this, this uh, kiln was kind of to try and get some different colors and some different styles. So, 
I think we definitely accomplished that. All right, so now the rest of this week, we gotta count these pots, grind them on the wheel so that the bottoms are like perfectly smooth. Then we'll pull everything out, start taking pictures of it all uh, for the restock on Sunday, October 17th. We'll probably start making some more stuff for the next uh, restocks that are later this month and starting to prepare for the holiday season. So that is about it. Thank you guys so much for joining me in the studio. Can't say thanks enough. Subscribe, like, share, all the things, and we'll see you guys in the next video.